jumping off the front porch steps. You will just have to move your right hand from this node to this node. So this this dotted line right here doesn't really mean anything besides that they just try to help you. The people who wrote this book, they uh, trying to help you to understand what to do with the right hand. They just show you the direction that your right hand is jumping down to this note, which is the C note. So let me play this part for you. So I'm going to play this chord and then my right hand is going to jump to this note. So look, you have C and then you're moving down and you're playing C. Okay? Make sure you count. So the counting will be one, two, three, four. And then you go back again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the last note stays on the same place. That's your right hand. Okay? So you have to do this, this trick three times. You're jumping from one octave to the bottom octave. From this position to here. Okay? It's just one octave motion. Left hand does the same thing. It starts a little bit lower. It starts here. And then it goes to the lower C. So you can see that that's your chord. And then this one right here, it, it really doesn't mean anything besides that just tell you the direction of the motion of your left hand. This is not a special sign that um, kind of like uh, part of the notation, music notation. It just shows the direction of the melody sometimes. Okay, so here we go. So both hands will play like this. One, two, three. Return, one, two, three, four, one, rest, down, and then stay on the last note. And again, this is your beginning starting position, middle C, bass C. Okay, happy practicing.